So we've begun our journey for this summer and we realized that we've never actually given a proper tour of our camper and explained how exactly a family of six can cram into such a small space with all their stuff and travel all over the country and not go crazy. So we're going to kind of explain how we organize things and where we put all of our stuff while we're traveling and uh, just, just explain what kind of camper we have. We have a a hybrid camper which is a solid body travel trailer in which beds pop out the ends similar to what you would find in a pop-up camper. So I'll let Lauren explain kind of what our sleeping arrangements are and then we'll go from there. And we chose a hybrid because um, you know, there's six of us, so to have six beds contained within the walls of a camper, you have to have a really large one. We wouldn't be able to store a large one in our yard, and then it's also harder to haul it and harder to find camping spots. And we wanted something as small as possible, but with enough beds for everybody to sleep. So that's kind of why we chose this type. This is Brian and I's bunk at the front of the camper. Um, and then we, it's a queen size. We have this reflective stuff we actually originally got when we went to Alaska to block the light, but we still use it now to block the light so that, you know, if the sun comes up at five or six or whatever, we don't have to get up. And also, um, you know, it's, it's really good at insulating too. So it keeps the temperature the way we want it in here. Um, probably they want to see what we store in here. So there isn't exactly one all-encompassing area to store all of our clothes. We kind of had to put different people's clothes in different spots. And underneath the front bunk up here, there's a huge, huge storage area. And so that's where I keep all my stuff because I've got long arms and I can kind of reach back in there. And all my stuff fits right under there, so that's good. And there's another access There's to another it. access point over here, which is just kind of a collection of randomness. We store our extra toilet paper and We've got, some well, of our uh, blank beach blankets and backpacks and whatnot. We store first aid kits first there aid right kit. now. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Oh, we've got a laundry basket, an expandable folding laundry basket. Situation. And then this access right here goes to the same access you can get to from the outside. This is all under this bench all the way across the full length of the camper. And I mean, I keep all of my tools and stuff like that my leveling blocks and the hoses um and then i also keep the propane and our propane uh, coleman stove up here and we got our marshmallow roasting sticks and a saw uh a, we have an extra buddy heater that we had from our pop-up days we keep here just in case we need a little auxiliary heat and we keep other things this is kind of Depends on what kind of trip we're going on. We've got some life jackets we store in here. I've got a little shop vac that's come in really handy. I got it at Walmart. And that actually is, I can run it on the uh, the inverter when we're on solar power. And I can run it on electric when we're hooked up. And We've got our beach buckets and shovels and the kids' mm. toys and stuff for that kind of stuff. We've got our chairs and everything else under there too. When we bought this, um, the decor was really awful. It was like this red and gold stuff that looked like an old person's formal living room or something. I don't know. So um, I replaced, like this is original. Um, actually, no, I don't know if it's, I don't think the mesh is, but this part is original because it has the little clips on it to clip onto this track. Um, but then I replaced this and this and I redid these um, bench covers with different fabric too that was more our taste. Um, and then um, these curtains are good because we do change sometimes in our beds because, you know, there's six of us with one bathroom. Um, up here we have basically random stuff. Um, some umbrellas, hats, bear spray, yeah, which I mean we could use on a person if we ever had to, if we had an intruder, I guess. Um, <laughs> and then we have air mattresses that we use if we turtle, which means if we're like staying in a Walmart parking lot and we're not comfortable with having any of the beds out and we have it all packed in, um, we can put air mattresses on the floor um, for people. This also turns into a bed. This table turns into a bed. It's it's small. It's I think about five and a half feet um, long and it's pretty narrow. So um, I don't even know if it's as narrow as a double bed and then about five and a half feet. So usually Kylie and I sleep on it. Brian can't really fit on it. Um, 
but that's only occasionally when we turtle. We have a little TV that actually came with our house when we bought it that was above our bathroom bathtub, but uh, I just found that it was perfect fit in here and we don't use it much because we like to spend all of our time outdoors, but occasionally if it's raining or something, the kids can hook up their Nintendo Switch to it and play. Um, we've got these nice storage cabinets up here that we've got all kinds of stuff, extra hammocks, lights. Uh, we've got an outdoor projector. Sometimes we, for camping for a long weekend or something, we'll play a movie outside. And we've got our bunk end fans up there and glow sticks, games when it's raining, all kinds of stuff. This is our kitchen. And we literally call it a kitchen. If somebody's looking for something, I'll be like, it's in the kitchen. Um, but anyway, so up here we have um, our paper products and a few other th random things like coffee creamer and some sugar. And what we use to organize these, okay, so you have to have something up here because otherwise when we're moving everything in the cabinet will just get all shaken up in a mess and then you'll open up the cabinet and everything flies out. So to help with that, we mostly use these, like they're for files and we've actually gotten most of them at Goodwill. And the ones up here are turned like this way um, so that we can slip things in and that they stay upright the way we want them. Um, this is a fruit hammock. There's a towel in there because otherwise the netting goes through the fruit. Right now the fruit's in the refrigerator though. Um, the sink. I like that this faucet moves. Um, I usually use this to wash my face because this sink is bigger than the one in the bathroom. It's still tiny though. It's still tiny, but it's bigger than the one in the bathroom. Um, under here we have cleaning products, um, extra towels, trash bags. Um, we keep our little wipes. grill. The little grills under here and some paper towels. And our toaster will goes under there when it's not up top. Yeah, yeah. So under here we have pots and pans and some like um, plastic containers for um, leftovers. And then we put extra paper products in there if they don't fit up above. Uh, we've got an oven, which we use quite a bit for like casseroles and pizza and stuff like that. It's pretty small, which is frustrating, um, but it, it works okay. We added this... Uh, Oh, what is it? It's a pizza stone. Pizza stone to help distribute the temperature um, evenly. We found that that is absolutely necessary because otherwise things were getting like like a pizza, for instance. You put it in there, and it'd be like the dough would be raw in some spots and like completely charred black in others. Like it just the temperature does not distribute evenly. But this helps a ton. We also use it for storage um, when we're not when we don't have the oven on. So like there's muffins in there right now and we don't forget because we have to light it anyway. So we have to open the thing before we turn the oven on. It's not like at home where we might preheat the oven and forget there's something in there. Um, there's a cooktop, a stove top here, and we just have this thing over it so we can use it as extra counter space. Um, we found this thing at Hobby Lobby and it goes perfectly, fits just barely behind the stove on the countertop and we have random things in there like a lighter and other things these are actually spice racks um, that we found on amazon we have some in the bathroom we'll show you as well but we use them as like a shelf basically um there's a lot of medications on there and sometimes there are actually spices on there and other odds and ends that we need in the kitchen area i have another one of those spice racks over here by the door that's kind of a little catch-all we put our headlamps and stuff in there we have a microwave which is awesome we're not able to use it that much unless we're you know we use it when we're connected to shore power which is not really that often we often don't have electricity um, we can get it to work sort of kind of with the solar panels it doesn't run it off of the inverter if, yeah it doesn't run it full power but we can cook things sort of slowly in it um we do use it for storage of usually chips when we're not using the microwave because we've got to use all the space we have so this is our pantry um we can fit quite a bit in there we have a lot of stuff in containers so it's not just everywhere um yes yeah, so we got some containers at ikea we keep smaller like things like granola bars and little apple sauces and stuff and then obviously we have boxes of things as well and then this drawer pulls out too for 
like we try to keep like snacks so when we're on the road and the kids are hungry they can like run in here and grab something really quick without having to like pull a bunch of stuff out of the pantry. One yeah. of the things we have problems dealing with are shoes. We have so many shoes and they're oftentimes all over the place. We have that one little bin there we kind of throw them in to keep them out of the way but they're still all over the place. You can see there's a pair over there with so many people. <laughs> There's a lot of shoes. We have a freezer and a refrigerator, which was truly life-changing going from a pop-up to this camper. We had a refrigerator in the pop-up, but it basically didn't work, so we just had to use it for storage. Um, so we really have a lot of the same things we have at home in our freezer. It's just on a smaller scale. Um, right now we have like chicken nuggets and waffles, and we have a lasagna, frozen lasagna and garlic bread, and um, sweet and sour chicken, and some ice cream cones um and then in our refrigerator again like we basically bring a lot of the same stuff we have at home um we can fit a lot in here a lot more than we figured we could but yeah drinks some food lunch meat and all that kind of thing there's this drawer here that we can keep a lot in keep mostly produce in so this drawer I don't know. It's like our kitchen drawer, I guess. Our one, our one kitchen drawer. So we have this uh, cutlery in here. We have chip clips, and we have cooking utensils. We keep a sharpie marker, which is extremely important. We label people's drinks because otherwise there's just drinks everywhere, and they because they're like, "That's not mine," and then they just get wasted because they don't want their siblings' germs. Um, we have these coffee pods. Oh, because we do, we did get like a off-brand Keurig from Walmart. It's nice and small. Um, and we can run it in here and have our coffee in the morning. So that's nice. I consider this basically our laundry cupboard. We also keep extra like um, plastic, like Ziploc type products in here. But we have um, multiple laundry baskets that pop up and these pop up to this type of a can you show this um this type of a laundry container and this is these are from walmart and they're really nice because you can turn it on its side and then unzip this side instead to make it more like a laundry basket after you've washed the stuff and folded it and you want to bring it back to the camper so those are really handy they don't last very long they get holes but we just buy new ones they're really cheap um, but yeah, so we also have, we bring these laundry pods, which we do not use at home, but we use on the road because we don't want laundry detergent spilling. And so these are really handy to have. Um, and we use unscented because scented laundry products attract, attract mosquitoes and we don't want to be smelling too good and attract the mosquitoes. Something else I got that I really like is we have these, um, hangers that I got from Amazon. So when I'm, I have shirts and dresses that I hang to dry. And so I can hang these on our laundry line with whatever on there. And so that's nice. Also under here is where I have my charge controller for the solar panels. It's probably the best place I could find for it. And that's where the wires run through anyway. So I just have it under there and I can just open it up and quickly check things if I need to. We also installed this little, uh, hanger thing here for the broom that comes in handy. We got to sweep this thing out constantly with people trekking stuff in. And this is also a replacement thermostat I put in. It originally just had a analog thermostat and I installed this digital one, which is coming really handy. It has a, the ambient temperature on there and then it's really easy to set what temperature you want to. We added these hooks on either side of the bunks. Um, this is like an odor absorbing bag, air purifying bag. I actually think they kind of help. Um, you can imagine the, the odor in here, <laughs> especially like by the dirty laundry basket it can get kind of gross. Um, but yeah, we put hats, we put sometimes jackets. There's a mask, I guess, left from a couple of years ago. Yeah, let's get rid of that. <laughs> let's get rid of it. Don't want those yeah. memories. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're really nice. And sometimes we hang like pajamas and stuff that we're gonna rewear on those hooks as well. Um, up here, we have these um, containers. I got these at the container store. And I, I covered some of them in fabric to match, but then some of it, some of the fabric fell off. But these are really nice because they're they're firm at the top with like a wire, but you can still kind of squish them into the shape that you need them to go in. So they don't take up any more space than necessary. This one's empty right now because we keep sheets in it. And so the sheets are on the bed right now, beds right now. Um, but we have sheets and extra pillowcases in them. 
And then we have like the Kids Junior Ranger vests up here um, and a few other odds and ends. This is Alexa and Nolan's bed right here. Um, we had, back when Nolan used to fall out of the bed, we would have Alexa on the outside to help, help keep him in. He fell out once anyways and uh, broke his collarbone. But anyway, that's kind of how we chose for them to be here. Alexa wanted the more fresh open air too. Um, they're all queen beds and um, Kylie and Lila sleep on this back bunk back here. It's kind of like their nice little fort or something. It's kind of fun. It's really hot. Yeah. It's hot. Yeah, it gets stuffy back there is the problem. So we always had a problem with where to hang things to dry. And we had a actual like wooden type hanging rack, but that took up a lot of space and was kind of annoying to have around. So I installed this uh, retractable clothesline and we can hang stuff right up in here and especially if we have electricity and the air conditioner is blowing it blows right on them and it gets stuff dry really quickly so um kylie lila and nolan's clothes are underneath here so in this part here we actually have room for extra shoes um it's full obviously along with that container that brian showed you um we just need a lot of shoes um, we need, we each need like shower shoes, tennis shoes, hiking shoes, like sandals to just slip on. And then like Kylie and I like extra shoes, <laughs> but, um, the kids, the younger kids need usually extra tennis shoes because they get theirs wet or like things happen to them. And if we're out somewhere where we can't just buy shoes, we kind of need to have some backup pairs with us. So it's, it just ends up being a lot of shoes. Um, I have found the thing that works the best is these bags and I get them at Joanne Fabrics. Um, they just happen to fit really well. They're like meant to be, you know, like um, reusable grocery sacks or whatever. Um, but the size they are just slips in here really easily. This one's Kylie's. Um, just depending on the kid, we kind of organize them a little bit differently. Ky Kylie has her own organization system, but like I pack Nolan and Lila's bags and for Nolan especially like he doesn't want to have to put outfits together so the way I pack his is I pack like each outfit separately so I'll do like shorts a t-shirt underwear socks I put them all together and I put those in and then I do the next day's clothes and they're just all on top of each other so he just can grab the whole outfit complete with the underwear off the top and just work his way down and that keeps him from just pulling everything out of the bag and just making a complete disaster out of it. I mean, usually it's, by the end of the trip, it's kind of messy in there anyways, but the idea is to help keep things organized. Um, he has one for like shorts and t-shirts and then one that has like sweatshirts, pants and pajamas and some trunks. And then, um, Lila's is kind of a similar idea to that. They each really only have two of those bags full of clothes and that's, um, pretty much enough for the whole long trip because their clothes don't take up that much space. They're still pretty small. This is Alexa and I's closet here. Um, and then also the very bottom, we have beach towels and some extra hand towels rolled up and just kind of shoved underneath there. But yeah, on these shelves are our clothes and I organize myself a little differently because I never know from day to day what I want to wear. But so I like have like, this is my t-shirts um, and I fold them like this and have them in here so that I can see what's in there. Um, and then, you know, I have another one for shorts and another one for dresses and one for socks and underwear and stuff. Um, Alexa, I'm not sure what her system is up here, but she doesn't really like clothes and doesn't require as much space. So her stuff is up here. This was a, originally a wardrobe to hang stuff. And so Brian installed these shelves, which was really difficult. He reinforced them with, um, this wood on the sides so that because like this this here isn't really that sturdy um didn't want he didn't want to everything to cave in so yeah he put that in and it's been really really great and really helpful and again i love these containers because they're moldable um i think these are like 10 inches wide and this opening is only nine inches but it's fine because you can just like shove it in here like that so yeah it works pretty well this is our drink cabinet. Um, we have to have a lot of individual drinks, which we don't do that at home because of the cost and the extra waste. 
um, for the, from the containers, but we can't keep whole pitchers of things in our refrigerator with it being so small. And so when we're not drinking water, um, we have to have, you know, individual containers of things. So we've got apple juice, pop, Capri Suns, tea. Um, sometimes we have Gatorade, but not right now. Um, usually by the end of the trip when we don't have as many drinks left, the drinks are all on the bottom shelf. And then sometimes I have laundry, like dirty laundry on the top shelf at that point. So we kind of convert it a little bit as the trip goes on. So this is our table area, the dinette, which we explained a little earlier, can be converted to a bed. But also the fact is it really only seats four people, maybe more if they're little kids, but four adult sized people. So we have six people, obviously. So we're like, what do we do? Well, we still have some little, so we can kind of cram maybe five people there, but we had to have a another option for sitting down and so we came up with this idea um at walmart they just had a cheap snack tray but it it's wooden color so it kind of blends in with the decor in here and i made this little place here to hook it and you set it up and there's this extra bench area right here that doesn't actually have the table in front of it so we put this snack tray and then somebody can sit here and eat and we actually eat a lot in our camper especially when we're on the road because we have a lot of people so it costs a lot to eat out every meal so we oftentimes will have a picnic lunch inside our camper and there's space for everyone now so that's pretty handy and also behind where we keep the snack tray is also where we have our sticker collection of all the places that we've gone with this camper so you know we've got Alaska and Colorado Florida and last year we went to Michigan and Minnesota so it's kind of fun just to have that and, it, and it's bright and colorful and something pretty to look at and kind of reminisce about all the places we've gone. We didn't have any good place for a trash can in here so we found this thing on Amazon and we just used like a grocery bag and put it on the door. It looks kind of trashy. We don't love it but it works. Um, this is our bathroom. I always say this is the other life-changing thing about the camper besides the refrigerator that really um, changed the way we travel from ha from having a pop from when we had a pop-up to having something that actually has a bathroom. This is also, I wish that we would have had a bathroom in our camper when our kids were potty training. That would have been really great because that was just really tricky. But um, we also chose this camper because this bathroom is actually really big compared to a lot of other campers of this size. A lot of them have wet baths, which we just didn't feel would be really very practical for us. We don't like the whole idea of like showering with a toilet. I don't know, I'm sure we could get used to it, but we just, we really like the size of this. Um, multiple people can be in here at the same time if needed. Um, so yeah, we've got a shower, we've got a sink, um, toilet obviously with like a foot flusher thing. Um, this towel holder thing, which is actually a pot rack that we got from Menards, we can fit five towels folded up in here. Um, there's only two right now because those are the two clean towels. Then we have hooks right here for ones that have already been used. We also have hooks on the back of the door for towels. Um, and then of course we showed you the, the drying cable that we have as well. This is a rug. Um, from Ikea that we use to put in front of the shower when we get out and then we hang it up here to dry um, We have everybody's loofahs that we have these hooks and they've stayed on so far. They're just like command um, Shower Hooks, I think is what they're called um, Brian changed out the shower head This is like this one puts air out as well, right? Is that the difference? Yeah, it's it helps to save the water because it has higher pressure without using more water. So we don't use as much water when we take a shower. Yeah. Like I have thick, coarse hair. And so when I have to wash my hair, it does require a lot of water. But this helps because there can be like a lot of water pressure without a lot of water coming out. So um, it's just more efficient to have that. Um, let's see. We have more spice racks in here. Brian has his stuff up here, and then this is like everybody else's. Um, the mirror is nice to have. Towel rack. Um, 
under here we have other stuff like big stuff like a thing of mouthwash and then other toiletry items we might need extras and then we have some medications under there and just some things that we don't need as often um, this originally there was a panel over it um, but Brian pulled that off so that there's some extra storage I mean there's like pipes under there and stuff but we can stuff like extra toilet paper under here which is nice so originally the fan in here was a puny little thing that didn't have any airflow at all and I installed this uh, fan that I found on Amazon it's it's not the expensive Max Air fan, it's kind of a knockoff one, but this one allowed me to install it just from the inside without having to take everything apart up on the roof on the outside. And it does a really good job of moving the air. And I mean, you can feel the air being sucked in through a screen out there where the main door is all the way in through the bathroom. It gets a nice breeze going. Nice thing about this fan is it also runs on DC power, not the AC power. So Whenever we're boondocking, it's drawing the power from the batteries and which is being charged with the solar panels. And because it draws that nice breeze through, it keeps us cool if we're boondocking in the place that's hot because you can't use the air conditioner when you don't have electrical hookups. And let's be honest, uh, RV bathrooms don't smell that great because you have a holding tank underneath and this sucks the smell right out. So that's also handy. So that concludes our tour of our camper and how we travel all over this country and survive with six people in a small space. And we're really thankful that we have this. It's definitely an improvement over the pop-up in tenting days. And we've gotten to go to a lot of amazing places that we probably never would have attempted. Like when we went all the way up to Alaska, we would never have attempted that with a pop-up or a tent for sure. Yeah.